This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this, this week's, week's Archer's, Archer's Choice. Cho Ooh, Joe the cameraman's fell. gonna fall. He's going. Ah. He's going. <laughs> That'd have been worth it. Just that alone. That'd be a great a welcome. Bit. That'd been kind of fun. Yeah. Did you catch that? Good deal. Hey, Joe wipes week, out. This week we have SWD in Illinois, severe whitetail disorders. This week's lucky logo is Antler King. Hey, well, you're slowing down here. You get with the program. We're gonna get right into Randy Haskin and Doug Winters. Posse right here, actually neighbors right here too in Illinois. They work really hard all fall trying to get a buck on film. They finally seal the deal. Let's just get into their footage. <laughs> We're on here in Northwest Illinois. Pretty nice evening on the beginning of November. Just major travel corridors through here. Um, see quite a few deer up in this area. Awesome scrape. Right down here that we're hunting over. Looks like it's just been fresh and cleaned out. All right, time to go make the recovery. It's not gonna be too bad, he's just laying right over here. We watch him die right away. Get the arrow here. Found recovery for the arrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Spitfire, beam and arrow. Done. <laughs> Look at that baby. Oh my gosh. Unreal, dog. Unreal. Yeah. That's a solid eight. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Yeah, a little kicker off the back here. That's just beautiful. Unreal. Cool. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, a really quick tip. Right. Is not only when you plant your Antler King food plots, make sure they have accessible water somewhere nearby. The big thing is if you if you give them food and you give them water, they're gonna come or they're gonna stay on your property a lot longer. Now, let's check out posse member Dean Ashton as he goes for droopy tines. He's been after this buck for a lot of years. Does, and he finally gets them on camera. Did, did he name it because it re resembled you, droopy? Keep dishing it. Keep dishing it.
Hey, Dean, so close and yet so far away. You might still be behind those trees. That's a buck I've been after for three years. I thought that decoy would work. He didn't see it till he finally got all the way over here. Then someone over on the neighboring property starts making a bunch of noise. Yelling at a dog or something. I think that kind of spooked him a little bit. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. The Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week, well, you know what, we've always talked about food plots, but one of the real crucial things is, is putting a water hole. A lot of areas don't have water, the deer have to travel a long way. Having a small area, what we've tried to do is we've put water holes in certain areas. The reason being, we like to keep it in thick cover so those bigger deer don't have to expose themselves. It stops them from just coming in here nocturnally. We've got it between their bedding area and their feeding area. Good tip. This is your bow hunting world tip of the week. After a long struggle trying to get droopy tines, he finally gets them on camera, but late winter, they found him dead. Ah, but that didn't, that didn't deter Dean because in, down here in Illinois, he shot a whopper of a 160 buck right in his home state. I got a good wind for this spot. Let's see what happens this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting those does come in. Those does really helped us. They came right down here in the open. He started grunting. Came down there. To, <coughs> excuse me. Came down there to check him out. Gave me a nice 30-yard shot. Got some work for the track on here. Shot was maybe just a tiny bit back, but that buck had been on pins and needles. You know, any further, I wouldn't have taken that shot when they're alert like that, but he kind of lost interest there with the does. He's concentrating on them. Those does stood down there by, actually they're still down there right now. And they've been looking up that way quite a bit. So hopefully I think he's gonna be laying over there. Look at that baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on his left. One, two, three, four, five, six, 13. Good big body buck. Pretty good mass, only thing he's lacking is a little bit of width, but I'll take that deer any day, man. That's awesome.
welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Again, here's another one of our ponds that we put out in the middle of the woods. And in our little old 33 acres. Yep, and we've got our little track. Well, it's a pretty that's decent size not a bad there, track. So that's not bad. You know, now let's join Joe as he does some dome management on our 33 acres. That is a pretty good track. It is. Look at that. It's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Payback is a son of a gun, baby! Yes! <laughs> It's well worth it. It is well worth it. You remember when you pushed me in the pond, girl? Well, I got even. There's Thank you. <laughs> We're here in Illinois on a bow hunt. It's November 2nd. We just stocked up on four does, a couple of does and yearlings coming through the corn. Got like 12 yards from them. The deer are here. This hasn't been hunted yet. It's a great funnel area. Hey, Joe, that away for bringing home the bacon and, you know, a little wallowing here and there. Yeah. Never hurt anybody. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> smell like a pig. We just got down out of the tree. Ralph Travis came to get us with the bad boy buggy because we had deer everywhere. But anyway, we got meat in the freezer down somewhere and uh, we just walked up, got my arrow here. And uh, we got great blood. We were going to wait to recover tomorrow, but we got great blood. We got the arrow. Looks good. We're going to do a track tonight and see if we can get on this deer. So. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good doe, probably two and a half year old doe. I'll tell you what, I've had a rough year already. November 2nd, I still don't have any meat in the freezer. Usually we put a couple deer down right away, but we've been all over hunting in North Dakota, and, or I'm sorry, Nebraska and Ohio. and. It's just been a tough year. I've been letting all the does walk, looking for that buck. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> this is what it's about, man. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You know, I took that. I took this buck in our 33 acres that really didn't have a lot of deer activity when we first moved here. But as you put in your food plots, you put in your water holes, and you try to give them some type of sanctuary, things can happen. Good luck. Tell. Come here. Oh. Thanks for coughing in front of me, you little turtle. Get out of here. Go on, have fun. I'll see you tonight. Hey, get out. Go. On. I'm gonna tell you something. That there's way more important than any hunt you'll ever go on. Okay, we gotta go. The deer are running. Okay.
Right here, the buck is right there, but it's cool. Spitfires, baby. On our own land, with all the work and effort we put forth, we got our Antler King food plots, everything, and we're only dealing with 33 acres. I can get into this. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's well, the Choice. the season. The season, and we, we wanna thank you all for taking the time out to share the 30 minutes each week that we try to come and give you. We try to give you the best 30 minutes that we possibly can, because we know that you're giving 30 minutes of your life up every week. Yep. To and watch you're doing such Oh, it's almost my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, we do hope you found the lucky logo. It was Antler King this week. If you found it, go to huntingnet.com slash Archer's Choice. Let us know where you found it. Again, thank you for watching. Thank our sponsors. Thank our outfitters. And of course, thank the, God, the big guy up above. Absolutely. And um, we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice. On the muddy Archer's <laughs> Choice.